Welcome back to Emotional Mojo. Like so many other Americans, our next guest lost everything in the economic collapse in 2009. But since then, she's been quietly making a fortune online, and now she's spreading the word on how you can do it as well. So welcome, marketing specialist, author, and blogger, Tracy Walker. Welcome to our show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. And you know, we mentioned this in the beginning, that just like a lot of other Americans, you yes. had some hard times mm -hmm. during some economic crisis. Mm -hmm. Talk about 2009. You had a tough time. What was going on? Well, I actually had a real estate investment company, and we did extremely well from 2003 through 2008, actually. Mm -hmm. okay. And all of a sudden, when the market changed, mortgage laws changed, mm -hmm. all of the properties that we had, our buyers could not get financing, yeah. which meant everything, all of our income basically everything shrunk planned. to yeah. zero. Yeah. House went into foreclosure, my cars went into repossession, we wow. had the electricity rigged, yeah. the gas was cut off. It was literally a nightmare. Yeah. I cried wow. every night. And yeah. you know, at this point, a lot of people would say, that's it, mm -hmm. I'm done, nothing I can do about it. But you didn't do that. So no. what did you do instead? I just didn't believe that was what I was destined to do. I, I just didn't think that was the end. Mm -hmm. And so I began to reach out to different people who I knew uh, and began to get some ideas on how I could generate more income. And came across the idea of home-based business and yeah. started diving into that and started to learn some skills. And that's what brought me through, uh, through all that. And I think a lot of people like home-based business, whether they're stay-at-home moms, whether they, you know, have a commute to a city, you know, they're in a remote location. I mean, there's so many reasons why people get into home-based business. Exactly. Right? I mean, it's way more convenient. You know, mm -hmm. you don't yeah. have to get up at a certain time. You don't right. have to be anywhere at a, a certain time or a certain place. And you can stay at home with your kids if yeah. you want. Mm -hmm. You can kind of maneuver throughout the day, take yeah. care of errands, and you can be in control of your own life. Right. But it's not yeah. as simple as I'm just going to buy a domain name, oh, set no. up this website, and <laughs> I'm in business, baby. No. So right, you yeah. have tips for how to succeed in an online business. What are some yeah. of those? Well, the very first thing that you have to do is really realize if you have a desire to be your own boss. Okay. It's not necessarily an easy path. No. You know, you don't have anyone waking mm -hmm. you up. You don't have, you know, <laughs> yeah. alarm clock. Yeah. You kind of have to be responsible. Self-motivated, too, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. The second thing is you want to find a mentor. I mean, okay. any mm -hmm. successful and great person follows in someone's footsteps. Sure. Mm -hmm. The biggest challenge, though, is doing what they say. Right, so you have to actually take their advice. Yeah. <laughs> Do what they say. Um, after that, you want to create a feasible game plan. I mean, if you're going to do anything, you got to have a plan. Right. Uh, make it reasonable. If you want to make $5,000 a month or $10,000 a month, but you've never done this before, well, then you kind of have to put some education time sure. into that. And then the final thing is just keep going. Don't yeah. give up. It's not going to be rosy all the time. Mm -hmm. You're going to make some mistakes. You're going to feel a little slighted, but yeah. you'll get over it. You'll learn what to do right. So you say repeat until you succeed. Repeat until you succeed. So how do you know which one to choose? Like, how did you know which one was like not a scam? Well, yeah, because there are yeah. a lot of yeah. scams yeah. out there. There's there yeah. so much on the internet. There are. You know, uh, you don't know. You don't know right away. I mean, to be perfectly honest, mm -hmm. you don't. But what you learn to do, especially with the help of social media, is you can watch videos and you can have into Intuition about people. You can read their content and watch their blogs. Educate and yourself. Educate okay. yourself for some time. Maybe you can reach out to them on Facebook. Right. Maybe have a phone conversation okay. if they're available. And if you feel good about it, it's in your gut, then I say go for it. Um, everything is in us. Most people are not scams, though. Okay. But, but you have that one experience, and now you've kind of thrown right. everybody in the bucket. Don't just right. find the first thing you find and wire money somewhere. And then oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, do so things that make sense. Yeah. Yeah. And we've talked about taking a leap of faith before yeah. on our mm -hmm. show. So whether it's in business like you did or in a relationship or whatever, I mean, what's your advice for someone who's on the edge here teetering, trying yeah. to decide, do I take a leap, do I not, stay safe, yeah. what do I do? Yeah, I don't think staying safe is going to get it. I think that you kind of have to be risky. You don't have to be extremely risky, but you have to be willing to go after your dreams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you're not willing to put your first foot out there just to see what would happen, then you'll never know. And then you could live with a whole life of regret. Yeah, yeah. yeah. true. We've talked yeah. about that, We right? did, yeah. and I so like that, just there. jumping out there and yeah. just doing and be willing to say, you know what, no matter what happens, I'm going to go get it. That's right. Yeah. I love that, following your dreams. You've told yeah. us what to do. There are four things you say you want to avoid yeah. when you're starting a home-based business. What are those? Well, interestingly enough, you don't need to know 
everything before you start. Okay. 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 And life, okay. sometimes you'll never start. start. <laughs> you'll never start. Yeah. You don't need to know yeah. 100. Yeah. percent You can actually earn while you learn here. Uh, okay. And as you make mistakes, you adjust as you go. Uh, another thing would literally be to um, you don't have to get everyone as your customer. It's okay. impossible. Yeah. Uh, sometimes people think that when they have something great, everybody needs it. Yeah. And that's not true. Focus on one thing. Do it well. Absolutely. <laughs> um, ironically, you don't have to work more than two, three hours a day. All right. This I eight like to ten hour workday, yeah. it doesn't have to exist in this world. You can pretty much cater your time to do specific income producing activities mm -hmm. and you're done for the rest of the day. Right, Ooh, okay. That's my kind of job. That's right. <laughs> and the last thing is you don't want to save all your money because if you mm. don't spend some and put a portion to the side to enjoy the fruits of your labor, What's you'll be point? just a slave yeah, yeah. to your own business. And you're going to get burned just out. Again. Yes. So in other words, have so fun. Yeah. Have fun. Yes. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for you that motivation. It. If you guys yeah. want to learn more, you can visit Tracy's blog at whattracythinks.com and get more info on that. We're